If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat? So far, it's my first time doing this. Just threw on a couple of steaks, a couple of big ribeyes, set it for 135 degrees, and I've been waiting. I didn't even press the button itself. I just rotated it to the temperature. So these have been done for about 15 minutes, and uh, this is at 135 degrees, so obviously not ready to eat this way. I just want to show how they came out that first time at 135 with a sear at 450 degrees. Well, I am just getting home and getting out of my work clothes. I just drove back from Tampa. So it was four hours on the road today, two hours on my butt while I was there. So a lot of sitting. I'm glad to be able to come home and have time to get this exercise in. It did rain over here a lot this today. So hopefully it won't be too muddy. But I still got 100 squats to do, so let's get started. Before I even get started on working out, I've got to get some food ready for tonight because I got in late. I mean, it's almost 6 o'clock. And I like to walk before all the mosquitoes come out. Oh, I need salt. Alright, got some salt now. Man, it's a workout. All right. Now we'll put a couple of these on the grill. By the way, the steaks that I had this morning after using this grill were the best steaks I have ever had. All right, let's see here. I put the meat in. As you can see, I've set it down on the grill here. I turn it on. And it says, let's get cooking. So I turn it to 130, let's do 130, let's do 135, it came out perfect. I did 135 this morning, I'm going to leave it at 135. And then I'll come back and I'll check this in just under an hour, about 45 minutes they should be ready. We'll take a look I'm at it. I going to say it, simply adding 100 squats to a walk makes it so much more of a workout. I've done my 100 squats today. I did them on every half mile this time because I didn't do any push-ups today. Today I'm just walking and doing squats. I got home a little bit late from work. Had a long drive back from Tampa. Oh, so I spent a lot of time on my butt today. So it's really good to be able to get up and move around, stretch your legs, get some exercise, get some air going through you something we all need to be doing right now in these crazy times where all these health problems are coming along and we have very little ability to believe in our healthcare system. I believe in the people who work in healthcare, I just don't believe in the system. Definitely don't believe in the pharmaceutical companies who seem to be running everything. So that's why I decided I'm gonna get in good shape. I'm gonna fix my health issues as best I possibly can. And boy, has it done wonders. Lion diet, eating only ruminant meat, water and salt, now for 15 months, and I feel the best I ever have in my life. As a matter of fact, when it comes to how I feel, even my wife was saying last night, I had to like the way you feel. <laughs> ah. It's just nice when you've struggled with your body all your life to finally have a body that you can feel confident in and comfortable in. And all you gotta do is say, screw it, and then get up and do it. So you can get up and change your life. All you gotta do is try something different than you've been doing. If you've been doing the standard American diet now and you're wondering why you're not getting results, try something different. Lion diet might be the answer for you. Whatever it is, I hope you find it. Because once I found lion diet, all of a sudden I had energy and a will and a desire to exercise. And that's what this diet does. When I say diet, I mean my new way of eating, my new way of life. And it's a wonderful way of life. All right, now I'm back and these have been done for five minutes. 
and you can see they don't look done at all but we're gonna put a sear on these Pull the steak off of the plate I know I should use tongs I just didn't grab any but tongs would be a lot better you don't really want to stab your meat all right I'm gonna take some paper towels and I'm dripping sweat that's not good I just got done from my walk it's hard to get all this stuff done sometimes and run a busy schedule. That's the excuse a lot of us make for not eating right. Don't have time for it. Well, it'll sure make the time you have a lot better. If you take care of yourself up front, You'll live to see the things that your family does and that your family can do and graduate and win awards and all that cool stuff. All right, so now we got the... Let me go ahead and show you what I'm doing here. We're going to go ahead and set this on... What does it let me do? All right, let's set it to sear. I'm just keep turning it till it gets the sear. And now it's going to heat up to 450 degrees. And once it does, we'll put these steaks back on the grill for about 45 seconds. All right, so it starts a little bit early on the numbers. So let's see how it does. Let's go ahead and open this sucker up. And we'll take these steaks out. Be very careful. This thing is 450 degrees, or close to it, it was. And we're going to close this lid down and press to sear. I'm going to put a little pressure on it because I want a good even sear across the top and bottom. I'm going to do a long sear, so I'm going to do all 45 seconds. Oh, now it says long sear. That's interesting. I thought the long sear was 45 seconds. Well, I just learned something. Either that or that's just how much it is over a, a normal sear. Let's go a little longer. So we did plus 30. Look at that. It's not bad. Let's see how these came out. First of all, the one thing that I don't like is the sides don't get seared. That's where a little flame might come in handy. You just got to be careful. I'm doing this on wood. It's not really good to do that. Let's see if I can... I then scorched it. So that's one drawback. But it does get a nice pan sear, you gotta admit. I probably could have done it on the sides, I just need to look into that. So let's see how it looks on the inside. I mean, this is a very inexpensive piece of meat. It's like $5.99 a pound Winn-Dixie uh, ribeye, I believe it was. Usually it's kind of tough, not the tastiest steak ever, but still delicious. Let's see, take a look at that. Not quite as soft as the public steak I had this morning, this Winn-Dixie steak, um, but it's still very soft compared to what it usually is. But judging by the level of pinkness, you know, that's that's kind of what people go by, even though the actual temperature is what they go by for medium well and well and all of that is the actual temperature range. I would say that 135 is too hot for me. I'm going to tone it down to 129 next time for the cooking round and see if that helps to cook it a little bit less the way I like it. A little bit less cooked, a little bit more the way I like it. That steak I had this morning, in case I didn't record it earlier, 
That was the best tenderized steak I've ever had cooked on this uh, cinder grill. I did 135 degrees and it just came out so tender. It was uh, thicker than this steak though. I'm going to have to really work on the thicknesses of the meat to figure out how to properly cook this. I mean, I need to start using the app to let me know when it's done. <laughs> If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?